हाय एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस सो व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज प्रेजेंट प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वेयर वी कैन यूज अ प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स If we want to describe an action in a progress, that is already in progress, जो काम अभी चल रहा है and the continuity of some action, we can say जो काम अभी चल रहा है जो action हमारा है वो progress में है then we can use present continuous tense. Okay? So how we can say this? Uh, like the ट्यूब वेल इज वर्किंग सम वन इज नोकिंग एट द टोर Okay, so this is a great example to learn about the continuity of some action. Next, we can say that to uh, to express an action, definitely plan for the near future, right? Uh, like we are making the planning for the future. So for that, we can use our uh, continuous tense. Uh, so how we can use like um, I am meeting my friend tomorrow, right? The next sentence we can make uh, we are buying a new car soon. So this is all about. Are planning for the near future. And the next thing is to express an action that has become a habit of somebody. Like uh, you are always running me down. Next example we can use here. Um, Manu is always asking questions. So this is all about to express an action that has become a habit of somebody. As in the first you are seeing here, you are always uh, running me down. Okay, in the next sentence we can say Manu is always asking questions. So this is all about to express an action that has become a habit. Okay, so now you will see here that if you want to make a simple present continuous tense and you want to make a present continuous tense, so उसके लिए हमारा rule क्या होगा? So it's a very easy students. First of all, you will uh, use a subject, then is a mar. You will choose one of them. Uh, however it can be is am are plus v1 okay and then v1 plus ing then your object so now the question would be in your mind that where we can use is where we can use am where we can use are so i want to clear this concept that if you have he she it and singular noun as a subject then you will use your is okay but if you have a i then definitely you will use only a am word right but if you have a you we they and plural noun then you can use are okay students so i think so that now it's just clear to you that if we have a subject of he she it and singular now like we can say also that it can also be a name to uske sath kya use karte hain is but hamare paas agar object as a i ho to uske sath hum definitely we will use here am and if we have a you we they and plural noun then we will use here are so now here i want to show you examples as you are seeing here that first of all एज अ सब्जेक्ट मैंने यहाँ पर यूज़ किया ही एंड आफ्टर दैट माई चॉइस टू यू नो सेलेक्ट दैट आई एल यूज देर इज एम और आर ओके सो आई सेलेक्टेड देर इज बिकॉज इट वॉज जस्ट क्लियर टू माई माइंड दैट इफ आई एम यूजिंग अ सिंगलर नाउन दैट डेफिनेटली हम उसमें क्या यूज़ करेंगे इज सो सेंटेंस इज ही इज सिंगिंग द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस आई एम Why? Because I earlier explained you कि अगर हमारे पास I है then definitely we will use that am. I am singing. Okay? So that was all about our simple sentences of the present continuous tense. The next is students very important that is uh, to make a interrogative sentences. अगर हमने interrogative sentences बनाने हैं so what pattern we have to follow for this? Now we will use is am are as a subject. Then we will use or whatever the subject would we have. अगर हमारे पास कोई भी subject होता है तो उसे कैसे use करना है Then we will use v1 plus ing because it's a very compulsion for us in a continuous tense. We always use a v1 plus ing. So I think so that इट्स में कोई डिफिकल्टी नहीं होगी एंड इट्स वेरी इजी टू लर्न करने भी आई एन जी सो आई थिंक सो दैट इसमें कोई डिफिकल्टी नहीं होगी और इसमें आपको लर्न करने के लिए भी भी 
कोई भी डिफ़िकल्टी नहीं आएगी बिकॉज द थिंग इज़ वेरी क्लियर कि इसके साथ आपको सिर्फ वी वन प्लस आई एन जी ही यूज़ करना है राइट सो द सेम कंसेप्ट यू हैव टू यूज़ के दैट इज़ ऑल डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर सब्जेक्ट कि आपके पास सब्जेक्ट कौन सा है उसी सब्जेक्ट के अकॉर्डिंग यू विल जस्ट राइट देयर इज एम और आर ओके सो नाउ इन एग्जाम्पल्स एज यू आर सींग हेयर दैट फर्स्टली इज ही सिंगिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर यूजिंग इज and after that according to is we have to write a subject so my subject is he so definitely i'll just write is he singing so sing is our first form and with that we use ing so our sentence becomes is he singing the next sentence is am i singing so same pattern you can follow for the to make your interrogative sentences so the next is friends in a negative sentences the pattern is agar hamare paas negative sentences hai to uska kaun sa pattern hame use karna padega so it's a very clear of and for not and and for the negative so for this we have to use a negative sentence and iske liye same pattern rahega hamara subject plus is am are this is the same and this is a negative so we are using here not with v1 plus ing as i earlier explain you that in a continuous tense we have to use v1 or ing always right so now our sentence would be he is not singing first of all our subject then it's our choice to write there is am or are okay so i'm just writing here is not singing so my sentence would be he is not singing the next sentence i am not singing the next sentence singers are not singing right so this is all about our negative sentences so students our last thing is all about in interrogative negative sentences that how we can use this negative and interrogative sentences as you are seeing that this is a combination of two things and the pattern we have to mix up with the interrogative and negative means to say there would also be a question mark and word note we will use here so firstly you are seeing here that first of all we have to use is am are as we were using an interrogative jaise maine already aapko interrogative sentences mein samjhaya hai ki aapne first of all is am are ko use karna hai interrogative mein बट इन अ नेगेटिव मैंने आपको ये एक्सप्लेन किया था दैट वी विल यूज देयर नॉट एंड वी वन प्लस आई एन जी इट्स अ कंपल्शन टू राइट इन अ प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूज और फ्यूचर कॉन्टीन्यूज पास्ट कॉन्टीन्यूज टू राइट वी वन प्लस आई एन जी एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज टू राइट द मार्क ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके वी कैन से द क्वेश्चन मार्क दैट इज वेरी सेंशल सो एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर दिस इज इज ही नॉट सिंगिंग so how we can make a sentence क्योंकि already मैंने ये आपको explain किया था that if we want to make interrogative then first of all we will use one of them is am or are so according to our subject I use here is he then I'll just use not as you are saying according the pattern uh, please जो भी आपको समझाया जा रहा है you just have to go through the pattern pattern को side by side देख के आपने examples को समझने की कोशिश करनी है right so first of all we are using is then our subject is he then we will just write there not v1 is saying then ing singing is he not singing and after that there would be question mark and the next is uh, first of all we are using here am because the i with uh, we have to use the am mostly okay most of time we are using only am because or koi word nahi hai that we can use with the am okay so am i not singing right this is also our question next is are singing singers not singing so this is all about our interrogative negative sentences and the pattern is very easy for this okay so at last students we can also say that if you want to use and if you want to place this like we are writing here is okay uh, we are writing am we are writing are so instead to write or is not am not are not we can also say isn't am not the, that would be same but for the are not we can say aren't okay in the beginning so that can also be a good trick to use these kinds of sentences so uh, hope so that after seeing this video 
uh, whatever the doubts would be in your mind that would be clear because it's a very easy to learn all about present continuous tense